Hey Wastelanders, this is Gary from The Last Ranger. And today I'm going to go be be going over my favorite knives of 2022 between 60 and a hundred dollars. So stay tuned. So, there was a lot of knives released last year. A lot of them. And I'm going to show you six of them that were my favorites. Again, I reviewed knives from the Apex Pass Around. Those are not included unless I purchased a knife from the Apex. Well, purchased a knife after I reviewed it from the Apex Pass Around. So... This is the first one. I don't think I technically reviewed. This is the Dagger Resident. Dagger Knives Resident. And it costs like $64. I don't th I technically think I ever reviewed this knife. It was... I've carried it enough and I used it enough. I, it become one of my favorite knives of 2022. And before you uh, get all upset... It's fully serrated. <laughs> so I'm one of those that believe I don't like serrations normally, but I'm a big fan of serrations. If they're if you want a serrated knife, I think that you should have a fully serrated knife. And this is mainly a fully serrated knife. And I always wanted a fully serrated knife. I don't have any in my collection except for this. I have some partially serrated knives and I hate them. I, I bought this knife particularly because it was a redesign of a, a knife that kind of looks like it. This is the Dagger Sting. You can see it's reminiscent of it. It has a different uh, grind, but it's basically the same style blade. With serrations but this is a, a kind of a new design from dagger this knife is different because it's very it's smaller it's in length has a smaller blade and has a smaller handle it's a, a different kind of a different construction overall you can see this is a different style clip it only contains one eyeball in the screaming skull and it, it has a different clip attachment it's universal you can flip it around but they they did it through the back end on the sting and all the other previous knives they uh, do it through you know the traditional way of flipping the clip and screwing the clip there but if you're a uh, you want to be left-handed you can like just loosen this flip the clip around and then tighten it up and presto bango it's left-handed I, I, I think that's cool I like this uh, smaller design of the knife I mean and it it isn't like it, it doesn't cause any problems uh, it's still deep carry except for you see the gl uh, glass breaker so I'm going to still stick this up on my list. It has a two method opening feature. You can, if you're a traditional flipper tab, you can do that. If you uh, want to spotty flick it, you can do that. This is, has a, a little bit stronger detent than uh, the previous dagger knives. You can still spotty flick it out, but you have to use a lot of strength in your finger. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about. In this knife, the, the detent is weak enough that you can shake it out. I believe you can't shake this one out. I'm, I'm going to try. Yeah, you can't shake this one out. It's, they give it a, give it a stronger detent. I, let me see if I can, you can sort of hear the sound of the ball coming out of the hole it's it's set a lot deeper and you have to use a lot of uh, finger strength to flip it out 
So, I like that. I kind of like shaking it out, honestly, but I like that. This too. So, this is probably not going to be in my top three. And yes, I'm going to do a top three at the end of this video. But it's definitely a knife that I really liked in my um, favorite 2022. It's a good price, $64. Next up is the CVV KV Plus. This is the big, bigger brother of the CV KV, hence the Plus. And this is really good knife. It's a front flipper, but, but it differs. And the KV was a double detent, but this one is a liner lock. Honestly, and, and I like it. I, li I love it. I carry this one as like a, a secondary, not a primary, maybe a, a secondary in my other pocket. It has recessed liners and I like it it's because it's a liner lock. I like the, the white color version especially. And if I, let me check back. This, the Dagger Resonant, also comes in a non serrated blade so if you don't like fully serrations you can get that in a non serrated okay back to the kiwi this is one of my favorites that civivi did you can see you can do your thumb or you can do the reach around honestly it's either or method is pretty much easy you just have to get your uh you'll hurt your finger if you don't do it right it, it, it'll like rub on your finger wrong if you don't the serrations if you don't do it right but i love this knife a knife that you know is one of my favorites i use it to like open boxes break down boxes and it, I always have to constantly clean it. I don't. I think I cleaned it last time I use it, but I, it tends to get gunked up because I use it so much to open boxes. Let's see if it's sharp still. Yeah, let me see. Okay. Ooh, I jabbed myself. But it could use uh, some sharpening. It could be. Uh, it could uh, use. Uh, on the strop I guess because I've been using it a lot but this is this made my list this year this knife is one of my favorites too <laughs> this is the artisan Ahab this knife uh, I, I really love this knife this knife uh, came into my life um, through manufacturing he wanted this knife uh, at Blade Show last year, and it wasn't available, but it was available shortly after, or maybe, yeah, shortly after. So he was talking about so much, I, I, I had to pick it up, and it's worth picking up. I, I believe I did a review. If I don't, I didn't. I'll, I'll, I did some kind of video up there, so. You can check out that video. I think I did a disassembly on this. Also, this these scales are nested. Uh, these scales are special because they're like like you can take the scales off and the, basically the knife is still put together. It's, it features a hidden pivot or the liners are screwed together. Sorry, you can actually uh, remove the wooden scales and this knife you could still use. So, I kind of like that. This knife's on my list. Next, I give you the CVV Conspirator. This is my f my second button lock to uh, get on the list for a uh, knife of the year. I love this blade shape, and I love this fuller, and yeah maybe I you didn't catch it when uh, I did a review I bought three of these and then I gave two of them away but I was turned on to uh, cherry picking EDC it's on Instagram 
he turned me on to uh, these, uh, I think this is Artisan or, or CJRB, CJRB clip. And you could be, you could buy them separate on White Mountain Ice. And I bought it. And I, with a little modification, I, I had to like sand the back of this uh, pocket clip down a little bit to get it, to get these screws into this. The barrel spacers, because the barrel spacer is the connection. And, um, I wanted to give them, them a titanium clip. I, I'm tired of uh, Civivi's uh, deep carry clips or what's ch cheap de deep carry clips. And this is a knife that looks good and it, it, it just needed a milled clip. So this is a button lock. This is one of my favorite button locks this year. You can flip it out two ways with the flipper tab. Or you can put your finger in there and finger flick it out. So this this wood version, the wood handle version, was my favorite of the three. Next, I give you the steel wheel speaker. You probably seen this on one of my keepers list keeper videos. It made the keeper video because this is is really one of my favorite knives I don't want to spend a lot of time on this because you can check out my keeper video on it while what I thought about it but just to let you know this was uh, my favorite knife of one of my favorite knives of 2022 this knife just beat the list of 2022 it came in the last month, maybe three weeks before 2023, and this came out of the blue. I didn't know anything about this knife. I was tipped off. I don't remember who. Maybe Michael Morgan? Somebody on my uh, subscriber list tipped me off that Real Steel was doing a new poltergeist design. This knife is integral integral and uh, honestly I don't know how I felt initially about this knife I thought man that's that that's a weird design kind of a cheap design because it's a folded over steel but you know once I got it I just that went out the door I kind of enjoy this knife especially because it has a lock bar like an able lock or access lock or bar lock whatever you want to call it i don't remember what, what real steel calls it because i haven't done an inter or a review of it but it also has a nice thumb stud i like this knife i don't know enough about this knife i haven't had it long enough to like fully say it is in the top three but i really did do dig it you can see it's off center a little bit but i don't know if it's really truly off center i kind of don't know what's what i think of how it is lays in here it's it's centered to maybe here and then it seems to be this seems to be wider so I'll have to do a little bit measuring. Maybe this is not bent perfectly at the angle that it should be, but I can't tell. But I like the knife still. I kind of wish this uh, scales were a little bit bluer or a little bit micarta was a little bit bluer, but I still I'm going to give this a, one of my favorite knives of the year still. Okay, I'm going to break down three of those knives of the six that you saw to make my top three knives of 2022. Oh, overall, that's it's just for fun. These all three of all six of these knives are very much my favorites, but I'll say I'll try to break down three of them 
as a top three. First, I give you the Steel Wheel Spica. This was third place of the three. I don't know why it's the third place. It 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 it's very, it's a definitely a keeper, but I had to give someone the third place. I don't think I don't for me. It, there's nothing wrong with it. Other than maybe it's a little bit slick in the hand. You know, it's aluminum and it's not the grippy kind of aluminum. But that's probably the only thing that it's got going against it in the top three or the six. So th I'm going to name this my third place in the top three. Next is the Civivi Conspirator. Honestly, this was probably going to be number one. I carried this a lot throughout the year. I when is uh, I you know I went so far as modding a the clip for it. I love this knife. I I really I really dug this knife. All right, I'm going to give you a pause. Which of the six knives that you saw think, do you think is number one for me? And be honest when you answer in the comments. Be honest if you guessed right. Ready? Yes. Artisan Ahab was number one of the six knives for me in 2022. And I'll tell you why. This this steel is a really good steel. This is the ARRP M9 steel. It's it's a powdered steel. I have to look it up because it, it it's reminiscent of uh, the, the properties of 14C28N and D2. I don't know if it can rust. Honestly, I've never had a a knife made in this powdered material, so I'll probably have to let you know as the years go by how it holds up. I like this. I, I like the wood scales a lot. The the sculpt. It's very comfortable in hand. Very very comfortable. I like the harpoon shaped blade. It's basically a harpoon. I like the satin finish. It has the features of flat grind, full flat flat grind. Uh, it's a thumb stud opener. Yeah, I know it only has one method of opening, but it's a really good opening uh, thumb stud flipper. You can't like mess it up. It has a liner lock, nested liner lock for uh, easy. Deployment, there's no kind of issues with a frame lock fucking it up. You can just lazily flip it out. Has It's on ceramic bearings. And best of all, this comes with a titanium milled clip. This is a $70 knife, and it came with a titanium milled clip and a titanium backspacer. What the fuck? That's pretty good. It's lanyard friendly. And this designer was American. Uh, Nick Rogers designed this knife. Artisan Cutlery made this knife. Produced this knife. But this knife is really good. I encourage you guys to pick up a artisan cutlery ahab one of my favorites definitely one one the favorite of the six knives that i showed you okay guys i'm going to let you go 
and stay tuned for my favorite knives of 2022 $100 and beyond take care wastelanders <laughs>